Hello, welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. I am going to show you the squash that I got today out of my garden, just some of it. I, during this gardening season, I'm gonna show you me cooking squash several different ways, but today is one of the just simplest ways to cook it and I love it. Now, this is not Harold's favorite, but he'll eat it. You're just going to um, wash your squash and cut it into chunks and put it in a in a skillet. And I don't use my uh, iron skillet. You can, but your squash is going to be dark instead of pretty and yellow. But... I am, this is a good size squash right here. And y'all, I'm not able to show you from overhead because my cameras, my overhead camera is not working. So I'll try to remember to show you what I'm doing. But I'm just cutting this up. Cut the ends off. And up here, you can just cut them in chunks. But when you get down to the bigger end, I like to, you know, cut them in half and even fourths. But you don't need to put water because if you do, it's gonna be watery. But the squash um, will, the heat will draw the liquid out of the squash. I think this is going to be enough for us. But now Harold likes it fried. I'll show you how I fry it another time. We make squash relish. I've showed you that before, but I know I've got a lot of new followers. I think this eye is not completely level, but it cooks. Now, I'm going to take an onion and I'm going to slice it on top. And buddy, that just really gives it flavor. Until I put the lid on and it starts drawing the water out and pull it down real low put a lot of salt because the salt will help to draw that water out of the squash. Let me put that lid on here until I can cut this up. Oh, uh, but you know, when you're cooking with an onion, it smells so good. Just cut it in chunks. And then, just kind of take them apart. And it's not going to take it long. I'm, I'm going to say about 15 minutes. But it's when they're tender. And at that time, I'll come back and show you that you want to put a lid on it. And you want to cook it on medium, not high. And... When it gets ready, I'll come back and show you. Okay, our squash has cooked about 20 to 25 minutes. I did add a big tablespoon of butter to it, but you can see, look, it's still, it, it made some juice, you can see. You don't want to add because you're going to have juice that comes off of the squash. But y'all, fresh squash just out of the garden cannot be beat. That's one way that we cook it. You see it's steaming. There's no way I could taste it right now, but believe me. Now, I'll tell you what I do. I put black pepper on mine and it just makes it better. Anyway, 
no trouble at all to make it. And you just put a, a top on it, chop your squash, onion, salt it real good, add a big tablespoon of butter, put your lid on it, and cook it on medium for about 20 to 25 minutes until it is so tender. And you'll have some fresh squash out of the garden. Just remember that cooking's not hard. You can, you can have a delicious meal without a whole lot of trouble. It's a lot better than fast food. Sometimes we have to have fast food, but this is so much better and better for you. Thank y'all for joining me. Remember to be salt and light wherever you go. Put your trust in Jesus because he cares for you. I'll be back soon.